Thank you very much. You are welcome to Mangrove presentation. I would like you to an unknown story <clears throat> on Bangladesh. It is a great chance to know this unknown story the, about this Sundarbans mangrove forest. It is the largest forest, mangrove forest or mangrove wetlands in the world. On the other hand, it's located in the Ganges, Brahmaputra, Meghna Delta. It is a mega delta, the largest mega delta in the world. Maybe some of you don't know. Two largest locations, two largest thing in Bangladesh. So this is, this is a nice uh, picture. One is the Heritria Formes. The name, Bengali name is the Shundari. This name is also bearing the name of the forest, the Shundarban, the beautiful forest. And this outgrowing roads, this is the characters of the mangrove forest. And this is a nice and beautiful forest now. It's a, under threat because of human influence or anthropogenic disturbance, climate change, and natural calamities. This a mangrove in the world, it is only 25 to 20, 35 in north and 35 south location in the, uh, in the middle of the world. We can say two zones, it is Atlantic, East Pacific, and the Indo-West Pacific region are the diversity of the mangrove forest or mangrove for wetland areas. And this is specifically Asia Pacific rule is these hotspots of mangrove biodiversity, and Bangladesh and Sundarbans is located within these Indo-West Pacific regions. In this, Bangladesh is located in the catchment area of these three largest rivers, on the Ganges catchment area, and the Brahmaputra catchment area, and the Magna catchment area. These three rivers entered in Bangladesh, and the south of the Ganges, south of this, uh, Bangladesh is uh, located in the mouth of the Ganges River or the stories. This is a green part of this is showing this is the mangrove. And mangrove, it is, uh, Sundarban mangrove is already within Bangladesh and India. In between there is a border area. And the uh, Ganges River is playing a potential role to protect the balance of the ecosystem and ecosystem services. And this is uh, why import, uh, water and uh, the Ganges River is very much potential for the management of the mangrove wetlands and ecosystems. And this area, sir, Bangladesh is the one third of the land. It is a Ganges River area, um, Ganges Delta area. This uh, Delta area is a very fertile landscape for food productions. And uh, these 33 percent of these food productions are coming from this Delta region. Now this deltaic landscape is threatened because of the high salinity intrusions due to shortage of the fresh water from the Ganges Basin, as well as the sea level rise, the sea water, saline water increasing in the upstream area. So that's it is a threat for the food security and the community livelihood in the coastal regions. This again, so I talk about this, this wonderful landscape, the mangrove landscape. The water, the, the plants, animals, and the rivers is a wonderful combination in the Shundarban inside. Some of you may perhaps already visited inside the Shundarbans. Wonderful land, but is under threat now. This lot of people, as indigenous group already inside the Shundarbans, they are already living, collecting their resources, and surviving on their livelihoods based on the Sundarban mangrove resources, as well as ecosystem services. On the upper stairs, you can see a lot of visitors. 50,000 tourists every day entering in this Sundarban area. And the, this is the visitors or the tourists. On the other hand, the government and others, local authorities, they are trying to develop ecosystem, de uh, ecotourism development. But uh, the trends of the tourists it is developing the mass tourism. It's not even ecotourism. It is also the disturbance of our, this landscape. And the another disturbance or the threat for the Sundarban as well as threats for the Ganges River and Ganges Delta. In the morning, some experts already by high-level experts are talking about this, the pollution of the Ganges water. It is the holy 
river for Hindu, Christian, Muslim, all religious people. But it is not the moment at this stage. It's uh, the polluted river. And you can see this uh, border area in the map. The upstream, this is uh, Beres. This is uh, so-called very internationally famous. They say it is a Faraka Beres. On the downstream in the Bangladesh part, this is a uh, Gorai River Breeze. It's the same river, basically, the upstream area and the downstream area. At the same time, I was visited. Then so upstream, it is a huge water, and the downstream, you can see, is totally dry. So the basin landscape is already changing due to the shortage of the fresh water. And this uh, river connected to the Sundarbans, which is carrying the fresh water and saving or balance these mangrove ecosystems. But uh, now it is a threat because of this shortage of the fresh water. So sea water is increasing and salinity is increasing. This is a history of this river water in the black, black line. This time before 75, it was a huge water in the basin. After the construction of the barriers, we draw this water from the basin. So suddenly this salinity, the red line increasing, which is threat for some sensitive mangrove plants and some animals. For example, Heritria formes. These plants cannot survive. What's happened, this mangrove species we will see next. This is a whole Sundarban in the Bangladesh part. Different color is representing different species, but very much a green is this dominating species, like a Heritria formes. Now it is changing because of this salinity, one of the trait, and high salinity and also human influence or some other things. This affected area, red color, it is the one kind of disease, affected top dying disease for the Heritria formes. That's this, the secondary forest is developing even in this mangrove wetlands. So we can see some of the vegetation height class and the changing pattern, two years, 1933 and 1985. The green color, it is the best quality of the uh, forest plant species is uh, reducing now, so it is also gradually changing. Near future, it will be more th threatened situation for the Sundarbans areas. Now, for the human influence directly affected the Sundarbans, forest lands is reducing, changing. It is a professional or business purposes are using the landscape are changing, and the downs, the down to pictures, it's a special type of landscape changing for and using for the stream cultivation. All over the world now, the mangrove is a threat for stream cultivation, and Sundarban, it is not different from others. So it is also now a threat for this natural landscape for the mangrove. So based on this situation, what would be the solutions? We have this water sharing agreement between Bangladesh and India. In, the reality, in reality, it is not working. So Sundarbans is under threat for the, due to shortage of the fresh water. In such a way, we propose we need the, some fresh water supply to this forest area or this in the mangrove wetlands areas. This is a whole best catchment area, Ganges, Brahmaputra, and the Meghna. The very much uh, a blue color, this is from the Nepal, there is a huge water. So we, just, we can make a channel, so in the dry season, through this channel, this water can enter in the Sundarban areas. And also the green channel, this is the Ganges Basin area. This will also we need this bilateral agreement or regional cooperation. Because Sundarbans, the mangrove, is offering the man, yeah, ecosystem services for the whole region. Whole people, they are the stakeholders in the whole region. They, we need a regional cooperation, integrated management plan to protect these Sundarbans or the mangrove wetland ecosystem and this landscape. That's all for today. Thank you very much for your participation and exception. <laughs>